So I was influenced. I bought these off of TikTok shop for like 20 something dollars. And the main reason I bought these was because they said they have brush tips. And that's a very, I don't know, I thought that was very cool to have a brush tip for acrylic paint markers. And that's very rare for me to see. And everybody's been talking about the Grabby Art paint markers. And personally, I just think that the Grabby markers are just a little too expensive for the price. Um, like, for instance, these were only like 20 something dollars for about 36 colors, which is 10 more than the Grabby. And they have a brush tip like come on guys this is clearly the winner so let me go ahead and show you guys the colors that it has like look at these aren't these bright and precious oh my god they're so pretty let's go ahead and pull out one okay so here is a blue one one of the blue colors in there okay first it has a normal fine tip here okay the brush tip is everything guys the brush tip is everything like look how full it is and you can tell the juiciness of the bounciness <laughs> so here okay i've already tested it out but let me just show y'all let me just show y'all okay look oh, this, oh, i just love it so much to watch it but watch it you, you don't even see it anymore of course you can't it's paint marker but like <laughs> It's just so satisfying. Okay, so here it is. 36 paint marker swatch. Look how vibrant and beautiful they are. Okay, it comes with about one, two, three, four, five, six, six um metallic paint markers. It comes with a purple one, a pink one, a gold, a green, a blue, and a silver. So that's a pretty nice range you know so what i'm gonna try it on for you guys is this right here first off i'm going to try and put a nice base layer with just some of our basic colors so what i was thinking is to have a nice um golden frame kind of like a mirror around a girl this is a sketch i did like just kind of for fun to be able to test out these pen markers and I gotta say the brush tip is really nice it's really loaded with a lot of paint so you get a really nice easy uh, layered as for blending it's not the best of course that's what you kind of expect with a paint marker pen so now that I'm layering down the first coat I gotta say it reminds me a lot of just painting with acrylic paint as you would with a regular brush tip very nicely later I went ahead and finished that off camera because uh, I got really tired <laughs> and uh, it, it is a school night so I just went ahead and finished that but now I am blending it out um, I'm blending it out with a with the fine tip and I have to say that it is a lot easier than with a brush tip because the brush tip is too loaded with ink versus the fine tip where it has a little bit of felt. It's able to have a little bit of friction and kind of push the paint around and blend it. I wasn't really sure what to do uh, with the colors for this mirror frame. So I just went ahead and just kind of added random colors and hoped for the best some of it turned out great and others it looked a little weird and awkward but i mean it looks all right to me at the end honestly i don't know that's sometimes me with most of my art i don't know what i'm doing um so now i am trying to color the skin but i realized that this set does not have a lot of skin tone so i went with a set i bought from amazon and tried it out on this and try to mix it with it but I realized that the other pack I got was too, too pink toned versus the one in this set, which is too yellow toned. So I tried to blend both of them together and hope for a good result, which um 
it ended up all right. I was trying to really blend it out in a lot of the areas with shadows and try to give it a little bit of life. And the coloring versus just that weird ashy yellow skin tone color. I don't know. Um, I tried to color the hair. I'm not, again, I'm not really sure what I'm doing with this drawing. I'm just kind of going with the flow of whatever color I have in there. You know, as artists, we all should just sometimes just color for fun. Why does it have to really matter, right? Like, I love coloring personally. Like, in every process of drawing and making an art piece, I love coloring. Coloring is like my most favorite thing ever. And sometimes, guys, it's my most toxic trait as an artist because I overuse colors. But you know what? That's okay, guys. Especially with these paint pens, I think it's great to use a lot of colors. Um, I just have a problem because I like blending my colors, which I've seen other artists use these paint pens and they don't blend it and it ends up like such a beautiful ending so personally i think you know if you love that type of art style you should get these i'm trying to layer the hair with the pink and purple and then i'm going to blend it out with blue and hope for the best honestly Let's see i'm um, now i'm blending with the blue and then i went ahead and just gonna color the pearls and I try to add a little shine afterwards with the white. And it kind of stained the white. And I thought, hmm, this is perfect. Now I can just use this to blend it out. And as you can see, I am blending very, very aggressively. Because the more aggressive you kind of blend with this, the, the better the results you kind of get. So I was really blending aggressively. Which is um, kind of ruining the paper and a little bit of the pen marker. But the, um, that's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of looking ghostly. So after I blend out the white and the purple, I went ahead and just lined the outline. And this is kind of the result I got. Which is actually better than I had hoped. Because uh, once I got into drawing the the girl in the middle, I kind of thought, ooh, I don't know if this is going to turn out well. With, you know, a lot of your own art pieces, you don't really know <laughs> sometimes if they're going to turn out how you had hoped it to. But in this case, it was all right. So these are the paint colors that I use, including the other set from the Amazon pack I got. Overall, I think they are really nice, and if you enjoy Posca or painting with paint pens, then you should definitely get these. Thank you for watching this video if you made it even this far. Um, I know it's not the best quality, but I'm really trying here. Again, thank you for watching, and thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you guys again in the next video. Thank you for watching.